So good morning. Um, today is June 21st, 2023. So I'm going to do a short video on the process for passports um, because I'm getting a lot of questions. I've done videos before and um, they're in the group. Um, so if you're ever looking for anything in the group, you can just go to the search bar and type in what you're looking for so if you type in passports it'll pop up um the passport file that i have a video um just multiple things even if you're looking for a certain destination to see if i've done a quote for it already you can just type in a destination like you can type in jamaica tokyo stuff like that um and if you don't see it you can always reach out and tell me like do I have anything for that? And then I'll research some things. Um, but this passport. Okay. So as we all know from me saying it numerous times. Passports are going to be mandatory. Come 2025. Starting May 1st of 2023. What's this? 2023? You have to have... Um, the real ID to go state to state. Some countries have already started using only passport identification, meaning they are only going to take passports and passport IDs. No U.S. government issued IDs or anything will be accepted. Um, so to get your passport, I have a file in the group where you can go and print it fill it out go take your passport photo it'll tell you on the application what colors you can and cannot wear um the things that you can and cannot do is all on the form you have it filled out do not sign it have it filled completely out but do not sign it have your money order ready if you're getting the passport when you get the passport get the biggest book because it's the same price as the small book. The 50 pages is the same as 25 pages. So you get the same thing. You know, get, get the bigger book. Get your passport ID. Have it filled out. Call, because now you have to make appointments at the post office. Call your post office or have you got to make your appointment. Set up your appointment. Then when you go, have all the identifications that you need with you. So you can already take a copy, but they'll do a copy of your birth certificate and social security card there, but you can have copies of other items as well when you go to just save time. Um, they will keep your social security card and your birth certificate, but they will send it back, but they just need the original with the seal, um, but they will send it back. And if they need more information from you, they will contact you. But to avoid it being held up, just go with it filled out. Do not sign it. Sign it in front of them because they're like your notary republic. So you're signing in front of them. Have your money order for the price. Um, that Because you can even get the list of prices. I have that in the file as well. I believe the passport is 165 the ID is 35 and then processing fee is another 35. It comes to like 217 or something like that. Um, for everything, it's like 135, then 35, and 35, something like that. If it comes to like 217 or something, but once you calculate it and add it up, you can see. And um, when you go to the post office, if you have everything filled out and done, when you get to the counter, the lady will review it, or the post the postal worker will review it, look over it have you sign it in front of them take your money order or check seal it up send it off because it is they're prepping for it being mandatory it is no longer four to six to eight weeks it is now 10 to 13 up to three months that it can take your passport to come back once it becomes mandatory your passport can take anywhere from six months to a year 
So if you have your passport now and it is coming up on the due date or you have a year to your due date, you are able to renew it now. They are allowing people to renew it a year in advance because they're already getting backed up with the numbers of people going in to get one. Um, and so also some countries don't allow you to travel to their country and you only have six months of a passport left. So like European, like I'm going to Greece. My passport, my year will be up then. So I've already contacted them and talked to them on what I need to do to get the ball rolling already. Because it'll my year to get it renewed will be then, but I'll need it for the Greece trip. So when I come back from Bali, I'll just send it in then, and it should it they'll I'll have to just pay the rush for it to come back. But I've already started the the ball rolling on it so you just you have to stay up on it because i don't want anybody to get stuck i don't want any of my clients to be stuck anywhere so whenever you give me a your passport i will always keep a copy i have a file with all my clients names and everything the trips you've been on everything the quotes you have asked for i've already i have that so i will all so if you ever get stuck, if you're my client and I booked your trip, I will always have a copy of your identification and your itineraries in case something happens. So I will be able to send the authorities that. But um, also, just for passports, just if you have any any questions, you just don't hesitate to ask me. I'd rather you be overly prepared than underprepared. Um, so, yeah.